Hi everybody, happy Labor Day. Welcome to the Dr. Monique May Show. I'm your host, Dr. Monique May, coming to you live on this Labor Day Monday, the last official um, holiday of the season of the summer um, for grilling, especially, right? Of course, you can grill anytime you want if weather permits it where you live. But Labor Day is kind of that last official day to crank up the grill and get things um, get things going. Speaking of weather, definitely want to be mindful of uh, those that are in the path of Hurricane Dorian. We pray that they come through this um, intact. So uh, definitely on our, in our thoughts and prayers. But I'm coming to you live today. I am going to share with you what I'm grilling today, what the physician in the kitchen is making. And be sure to share this with your friends and like as well. So my topic today or my dish today is going to be black bean burgers. So I have chosen that because I had one this weekend. I was in Atlanta as a lot of you may know and I had one, had a black bean burger and it was good but it fell apart. So that's kind of frustrating when you're trying to eat a burger and it falls apart on you. So I'm going to share with you what I do to make my burgers and hopefully give you some advice on how to make them at home. So a word about beans. If you do not have beans in your pantry, what I want you to do when you stop watching this and after you have shared it with your friends is to go to the store and buy some beans. There's no reason that beans should not, you should not have beans in your pantry. They are affordable, they are versatile, and they are healthy. They're loaded with fiber and folate and other minerals and vitamins, um, and they help you feel full so that you don't tend to eat as much and then of course that leads to weight loss or maintaining your weight if that's your goal so no reason not to have beans at all they're part of the legume family which includes lentils and nuts as well um, but again they're healthy and they're and they're affordable and they have a, a fairly long health uh, shelf shelf life so whether you buy them dried or canned like i do because i'm lazy you know like the soak and cook mine um just make sure you have some black beans kidney beans um, pinto beans, navy beans, you name it. There's a whole lot out there and there's a whole lot you can do with them. Uh, for example, I mean, everybody knows about red beans and rice or we see them in soups and stews or my favorite, chili, which to me is like the Super Bowl of beans because I just, you know, it's the big game for me. I, I go in on my chili and I put about two or three different types of beans in mine. So chili's a big one. You can have them as, um, hey, Dr. Dewan, thanks for watching. Um, I have them in, um, you, do, you can um, put them in a burrito, whether a breakfast burrito or a burrito for dinner. And um, there's lots of things you can do with them. So definitely want to have some in your pantry. So I have, uh, my grill is already nice and warm. I've made one earlier. So I'll show you the finished product, but I just want to kind of show you how to put together the perfect black bean burger. So I am going to show you my ingredients in just a moment. A word about a black bean, how to get your uh, black bean burger the way you want it. You want to be sure not to have any excess moisture. So whether you're using um, beans from a can, which of course you want to rinse um, to get that extra sodium off of them, or you've made them yourself from the dried beans, just be sure you dry them. So either like let them sit out for a while with them air dry, or you can just pat them dry with a paper towel. The other thing to do is to minimize the moisture that might come from your add-ins so for example if you're using bell pepper red or green or um, mushrooms or onions those tend to render a lot of liquid especially mushrooms and onions so you want to cook those down before you add them to your bean burger so that you have more of a, a drier uh, consistency so that being said I'm gonna share or turn my screen around so that you guys can see what I'm working with so the other thing too is anytime you're preparing something, <laughs> thanks Dr. Dewan, um, anytime you're preparing something or cooking something, you wanna have your ingredients already laid out and ready to go because things move kind of fast and so you wanna have everything ready. So here are my black beans and I already started mashing them. So you can, I don't know if you can see that, but you, you know, you mash them to the consistency that you want. I like mine pretty mashed up so that they, you know, I don't really see the beans per se, but you can do that to your taste or to your preference. And this is, by the way, I do this with my hands. Of course, I've washed my hands. But if you want to use utensils, you can. But I like to get in there and mix it up and feel those ingredients between my fingers. 
Hey, Dr. Jones, thank you for joining. And next is the lentils. I mentioned those earlier. So these are just some brown lentils that I have already cooked. Um, you want to use the brown ones for this type of thing because those hold their shape better and you want to, you try to give it the consistency of, of a burger, of a patty, of a meat patty. So you want to cook those first and again, let the moisture kind of dry out of those. Um, I also have here some cilantro and Oh, let me go back to my to my bean to my lentils so these are already seasoned i'm big on flavoring so i've already seasoned these with as i cook them i season them with garlic powder onion powder but lentils have a nice uh blank they're like a blank slate so you can really season them however you like good question dr duan we are making black bean burgers we are grilling the healthy way this is labor day last day for grilling um officially and so we are closing out the season with a healthy black bean burger good question oh excellent i hope you pick up some good tips dr jones so um so i have my garlic here and cilantro i love cilantro so that's going to be in a lot of uh things that i make sometimes especially if i'm doing beans or if i have avocado which is also on deck and i have green onions here or scallions they're also known as and then for my binder, I'm using panko breadcrumbs and a little bit of chickpea flour. So for those of you who are vegan or vegetarian and you don't want to use eggs, or if you just, you know, you may not be vegan or vegetarian, but you just want to limit or watch your egg intake because you have some cholesterol concerns, these are good substitutes for your binder. If you are gluten-free and you don't want to use the carbs and you can also do flaxseed ground flaxseed with water and mix that into a paste and that can be your binder as well and the reason i'm using avocado which those of you who are with with me with me in atlanta know i am an avocado fiend um but i'm using it here i even use it in cupcakes believe it or not and they were delicious um but the reason i'm using it here is for the fat because again we're not using meat and so we want a little bit of fat and avocado has the the good kind of fat so you can eat it and not worry about that too much so that's kind of the rationale for that and then here are my thank you dr Duan. um these are my this is my um, red bell pepper green bell pepper and a little bit of onion as well so all of this gets mixed together and i'm going to turn you guys back around oh my dad just hi daddy i'm on live you want to say hi to my to my my show <laughs> he's here for it thank you guys i will be making him a a burger so i'm recording excuse me i'm recording sir i'm recording oh i'm sorry thank you you're in front of my live studio audience so peace <laughs> So here at the position in the kitchen, we just keep it rolling. People just drop in out, but you know, we are going to keep it moving. So I am going to mix these up just really quickly because it is hot out here. So I love y'all, but I'm going to have to get inside in a minute. But so here are my beans. And I have about half of the amount of beans I have in my, uh, I'm using lentils. So about half, about a two to one ratio of beans to lentils. I haven't tried that Burger King or like almost burger or whatever it's called. Um, but, you know, it's, people are saying that it feels and tastes like a burger. So, I don't know. I'll have to see about that. But this is what I'm using for now. So, my cilantro is going in. Putting in my my peppers. Because I like pretty food. So, that those peppers give it color. So, my peppers give it color. Giving it a little bit of some onion as well. And then I'm going to put in that avocado for that fat that we talked about. And, y'all, I don't measure... Um, I just kind of thank you that is a good point dr. Jones definitely so I don't measure so when I write my cookbook in the coming months the struggle is going to be real because I'm gonna have to measure so I can tell you all how to recreate this so just say a prayer for me because I don't measure I just do everything to take to by sight um, except for baking baking you do have to measure because that's almost like a chemistry experiment experiment and so you want definitely to have your right proportions for your, your ingredients with baking. But for this kind of stuff, I don't measure. So I'm going to put in my panko breadcrumbs. Those are a little bit bigger than regular breadcrumbs. And then my chickpea flour. And this is a great recipe to make with kids. Because again, you're using your hands. You're just getting in there and just chopping it up. So little ones will love this because it's messy, right? 
So this smells so good. I haven't even seasoned it yet. So I'm using the my onion and garlic powder. Again, just kind of eyeballing that. A little bit of that. And then cumin. Whenever I use cilantro, um, I tend to use a lot of cumin. Cumin to me is just the best and it just brings out, it just marries, um, marries really well with that. And then a little bit of black pepper. Now, if you notice, I didn't put any salt in here. So with all this seasoning, you really don't need it. Salt does help to um, bring ingredients together. It does help to smooth out or balance out flavor. But I read something that said, if you go to just two weeks without adding extra salt, your taste buds reset and you don't you start to not miss the salt at all and so then when you start to you go back and you add to taste something with salt you'll really notice it so two weeks is not a long time to make a change that's going to lead to a healthier you i mean i have high blood pressure so i really try to watch my salt intake because there's a lot of salt and stuff that you wouldn't think that there would be salt in but there is so when you read your labels you're looking out for that so here is my patty you want to make it about I don't know if you guys can see that about an inch thick because if it's too thin it's gonna fall apart no trouble so you don't want it too wet you don't want it too thin and the size that you make it is going to be the size that it is because it doesn't shrink yes dr Juan, it's in everything they've what they're doing with the food industry it's just that's a whole nother topic um so it should be about half an inch thick and then that's it so you want to make it about the size of your of your um, bun because again it's not going to shrink there's no fat there's no grease it's not going to shrink so i'm going to put this over here on my grill it's already hot and um because there's no oil or fat in here i have to i oil down my my plates my grill it's just a little bit of like canola oil just rub that on there and put your you hear that sizzle can you guys hear that sizzle so that is my burger and i'm going to show you the one that i already made Okay, let me turn my camera back around. Oops. Sorry, that was my neighborhood. <laughs> All right. And this is my finished product. This is the one that I made earlier. See the lovely grill marks? So you don't even miss the meat, right? I've got grill marks on it. It's got a great texture. I was nibbling on it earlier. Um, look at that doesn't fall apart it's got a good texture and because it's a burger I'm gonna treat it just like a burger I've got my um, pretzel bun that I love it holds up really well with with um, um, for burgers um, this one's a little too big for my patty but I'm gonna melt or put some cheese on there again if you're avoiding dairy you can skip that part and then I'm also gonna put my tomato lettuce on here first and again avocado because that's just what I do avocado is just great tomato and then I'm gonna put on here whatever condiments I like I like um, I'm gonna put my ketchup mustard and mayo on there as well but look at that look at that burger that looks absolutely delicious so I'm gonna go eat this and take care of my guest who has dropped in and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching hope you get some um, good tips and feel free to tweak this anyway you know you tweak it for how for what you like and what your tastes are but the key thing is it's healthy and good for you oh and one other thing let me just show you my grill that's the one we just made but look at that what don't you see grease right no grease so the one thing I hate about grilling is the cleanup afterwards, right? You've got all that grease, you gotta let the grill cool down and clean it up. But no grease on your grill means no grease in your arteries, where it's the most important. So it's a twofer, right? So thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to share this with your friends. I'm Dr. Monique May, board certified family physician, home cook, kitchen gadget junkie, and also known as a physician in the kitchen. Be sure to follow me, Instagram and Twitter at Dr. Monique May. That's D-R-M-O-N-I-Q-U-E-M-A-Y, just like the month. Until next time, see you in the kitchen.